Hi guys, my name is Tim, and today we're going to do a bit of a review on the latest Extreme firmware, or latest as of the 23rd of November 2023. Uh, this is the dev version, so I've pulled this from GitHub and um, built it locally. You can do this pretty easily yourself. You just follow the instructions on their GitHub. I'll link the GitHub in the uh, description of the video. There's also the uh, online updater that you can access their web page and just install via their web page. You can also use this for installing different background graphics as well. Um, on my previous video that I did on the Extreme firmware, we only had the not safe for work animations and I just felt that it was just way too much um, immaturity on it. Uh, but now this firmware has really matured and there's so many customizations that you can do in this firmware that you can't do in stock or the others at the moment. Um, and we'll go through some of those features as well. So to start off with, you can see we've got a nice image of Kirby. That's not certainly not a standard animation. And um, there's a lot of this that's not really standard. So if I open up the menu, you can already see, let's bring this nice and close. You can already see that there's a lot different in this menu. And you'll notice that there's actually a couple of things missing. And we'll go through that in a minute. But let's go over to this Start Extreme. So this is configuration utility for the firmware. If I go into that and we can now change, go into interface and we can change to our asset packs for our animations, which are pretty cool. I like the 1M3, which is all like Nintendo stuff. Um, and you can change things like the animation speed so you can slow them down if you want or you can change how often they change you can do a credits animation as well which is all pretty interesting um, in the main menu options we can actually change our menu style so you can see how my home menu was completely different to stock and so if we change this to let's say um, C64. Let's change it to C64. Look, our menu looks like a Commodore 64. How cool is that? Um, so we'll go back into our extreme settings. I'm going to change the interface back to being. I like the PS4 one but you've also got DSi which looks like this which is pretty neat um, you can also change in main menu you can change you remember how I said there were two applications missing off that well you can actually delete apps from that list so if we go down to let's say bad keyboard I want to remove that it's gone. Just like that. I can re-add it by going add app, bad keyboard, and uh, it's back there. You can also add an external app. So let's say I want to put on the Bluetooth spam. There you go, BLE spam. What's going on with the picture? The picture's gone a bit. Uh, struggling to focus now hang on let's fix that there we are must have had it too close but not in macro mode uh, I am trying a new camera out you'll see that the picture quality is a lot different to what it used to be um, so I've got a Sony what is it a57 here I've also got a Rode microphone as well and a, uh, a ring light and you can see that in the background or in the reflection you can see that there's a ring light there we'll follow it around yep <laughs> uh, so hopefully you get a better picture than what I used to have um, 
So you can change things like your lock screen. There's a lot and lot of new things you can change, which are really cool. I'm actually really enjoying this flipper now, or this firmware now, because there's just so much you can do. NSC, infrared, GPIO, bad keyboard, BLE spam. Look at that, it's right there. <laughs> and it runs. Um, so overall, I'm enjoying this flipper, or this firmware on the flipper. Um, I do recommend you do a backup using the QFlipper app before you run this firmware, purely because I lost all my levels. So you can see here, I'm back to level three because I lost everything. Uh, so 100% recommend doing a backup first using the QFlipper app, and then you can update this through the web interface, uh, or you can update this through the repository by downloading um, via Git. Um, yeah, sorry about the delay in my uh, videos. It's been a bit of a while since my last one. There's a lot going on. Uh, new camera setup, new doesn't like the desk. <laughs> uh, new camera setup, new microphone, new light. Um, desk's different as well. Um, I've had radio gear all moved around and everything. Desk's moved around. Printer rebuilt. So I've got a, a Core XY printer now rather than the old Bedslinger TiVo Tarantula. Um, the Core XY started off as a one printer and it's been heavily customised. It looks probably more like a Oh, I don't know, like a Vulcan or something like that. Not what it originally was. Um, and it's a much nicer printer now. It prints a lot faster and a lot better than what the bed slinger used to. And uh, the TiVo's been pulled apart and prices worked out for building that into uh, another uh, Core XY, just a smaller version. If you want to see a build video on that, let me know in the comments below. Um, we've also got a couple of new toys that I want to play around with. Uh, these came in the mail a little while ago, and I want to do a video on how to hook these up. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably do it anyway. Um, I did do a short video on this. This here is the external RF module that you can plug into the top using some, well, you can use some leads like this, or you can make your own PCB up for it. Um, this allows for a standard SMA connection to be able to connect in a bigger antenna up to it. Um, I actually don't have one on my desk at the moment, otherwise I would grab one out for that. Um, a standard SMA. You can then as well pass this through an external amplifier. In the video I posted before, I had this going into a PA which would put the change the output of this to one watt which is huge especially if you're using an external antenna you can activate a Tesla a mile away <laughs> probably not a mile but you know pretty far um, I could probably utilize just this and the antenna I have on the roof for my ham stuff for a lot of power I could probably activate Oh, let's say five blocks away but why would you it's <laughs> it's just a fun party trick um yeah thank you very much for watching and we should see you on the next one if you liked this video or found it informative or anything like that hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one